All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to take a closer look at Dolly 3, uh, the text to image generator and how you can use it for free. So it is rolling out and I'm having tons and tons of fun um, with this platform right now. So in today's episode, I want to do the following. First, like I mentioned, I want to showcase how you can get this for free. It's very, very easy if you haven't done it. Second, I just want to showcase a lot of examples, some that I've done myself and some that I found online. So you guys can see the craziness that you can do with this platform. So let's get started. So if you haven't done it yet, all you have to do is pretty much go to open up um, Windows X Edge. Is that what we're at right now? Yeah, Windows Edge um, and go to Microsoft Bing and put Bing Image Creator. Uh, I think you need to have an account for Microsoft to be able to do this. Uh, but here you would get Image Creator from Microsoft Bing. Once you open it up, you should see this website here. And there's going to be, like I mentioned, this is a rolling out feature. I do believe most people have it, but the easiest way to know if you have it or not is to be able to kind of write a prompt that is going to give you a text output uh, because that's the biggest thing that we're seeing here with Dolly 3 versus any other kind of AI um, text to image generator where most AIs when they create an image they give you a lot of random letters and no random text uh, so for me what I actually did first to kind of test it out was give me a comic style Star Wars Luke Skywalker I'm a huge Star Wars fan with text cloud saying hello uh, and obviously there are going to be some times where you get some mistakes here we can see in this one you get some mistakes but overall we can see that the that the, the, the AI knew exactly what I meant and was working with text. Uh, so something like this would probably be the easiest way for you to determine if you have access to Dolly 3. And if you have a Microsoft Bing account, I'm not sure if it's because I use it often, maybe not often, a little bit more than most people out there. Um, I have 100 credits. I know earlier this week um, it was closer to 25 daily credits. I don't know if they upped it or it's just because I use this almost on a daily basis. Um, but you do have a limited amount of free uh, of free versions right now that are able to run a lot faster. Once you run out, you can still kind of generate images. It's just going to take a lot longer uh, than, than if you had these boosts. Uh, so, I, I mean, I think the best case and the use case that I'm thinking of right now when I think of Dolly 3 and the ability to add text is a comic style it is for comic artists right or if you want to make your own comment you can easily do that now with this kind of platform so this is the first kind of text I wanted to showcase um, the next one I wanted to just showcase is kind of, again continue to be able to see how they improve overall text I just put a dragon holding a sign saying you are fired. And again, from time to time, you are going to get mistakes. Over here, three out of the four prompts are bad, um, but one of them is correct. So we can see a uh, great kind of... And th the other thing that I'm noticing is all the images are kind of giving me... Um, different types of art styles um, if we continue i wanted to see how crazy i can go with this i put goku from dragon ball c wearing a shirt with a cast of one piece and a banner saying luffy is king of the pirates uh, so pretty interesting i mean i want to say some of them are, look pretty weird uh, but i think this one is insane right we can see goku we can see uh, luffy is king um, there's still a lot of happening but even back here we can see one kind of the one piece art style uh, so there's definitely some work, but I'm pretty sure if I run this prompt a little bit better um, and, and run it a few more times, I will be able to get a better result. Um, but one thing that we are seeing with Dolly 3 is it's supposed to be something that you can literally chat with. You're not supposed to really be an engineer prompt to some extent. Uh, so I'm really kind of focusing on that, on just writing how I think about it and see what this AI generator will give me. Um, another interesting thing that I saw on Twitter, I forget who's X account was um, but if you kind of ask um, ask it a question sometimes it gives you some interesting images uh, so I kind of put what show is Pikachu from uh, I was expecting to get Pokemon but we do see some images of Pikachu I do have some other questions out there uh, for example what is the capital of the United States and instead it actually gave me kind of images of Washington DC uh, so I think that is insane um, I, I'm gonna have to try some of these prompts on mid journey so maybe later this week I will be dropping a video on 
on Mid Journey versus uh, versus Dolly 3's Bing version and how they compare against each other. Uh, just some random images. I want to say Bear versus Gorilla. I do want to showcase sometimes if you put versus or fights or anything that might. Um, might get flagged this one got flagged i wonder if because maybe it seems like i was promoting a fight to some extent uh but this one got flagged for a few seconds and finally gave me the image again images are pretty cool we've seen some pretty cool ones i think this one here it, it is pretty amazing um the art that we're given here uh next i wanted to try another one a bear and a gorilla and it actually gave me more of a love story here uh so pretty interesting the way it kind of um analyzes the text that i'm giving elephant in the woods again pretty insane i do want to say in form of quality i think mid journey definitely does it better um, but these are pretty amazing within itself um now what i really do enjoy about i want to say um Bing and Dolly 3, I feel like it understands a lot what I want. So I put Goku watching a TV show, The Simpsons. And I mean, look at this one here. We have Goku perfectly watching The Simpsons show. Uh, and I don't know if I would be able to get something like this in Mid Journey with a prompt that easily um, and kind of seeing the perfect kind of image. We can see Homer and Lisa back here. We can see a great image of Goku. We see Goku all over in Dragon Ball Z style. And we also see a Bart Simpson here. So again, we with very, very easy prompts, we're getting a lot of crazy images. Now I wanted to kind of bring it more into an anime style. Maybe I decided to become more of a prompt engineer. And I did the same kind of prompt, um, but this time I did anime style. And again, this is insane. We can see Goku here watching um, watching TV, and we see kind of a background of The Simpsons. Uh, so overall, again, I am pretty impressed. Um, like I mentioned, to me, the biggest win here is if you are going to make kind of comic styles um, so what I, I did here was going back to my first prompt where I did more of a comic style of, of Star Wars Luke Skywalker but instead this time I put with an empty text cloud and it gave me exactly what I wanted here so now I can go in the future and kind of make my own text using some other form of generator I'm not sure if mid journey would be able to give me this like I mentioned later on this week I will be doing more of a mid journey versus kind of Dolly 3 Bing version version. Continuing with the comic style art, uh, I did go here and kind of say, hey, look, give me Luke Skywalker flying a spaceship with empty text cloud. And again, we also see that a little bit better here. Um, the, it, the, the, the spaceship itself is a little bit awkward in forms of positioning, um, but I'm pretty sure after a few prompts, we can get this a little bit better. Like this one looks insane, in my opinion. Um, now, if we kind of put like comic style Darth Vader versus Pikachu with empty text cloud, again, I do believe this is where a big amount of, uh, of use cases is going to be used right now. And for me, maybe this is not for a comic style, but something like a, a greetings card, right? I think this is insane. If you are uh, kind of an entrepreneur, obviously you can't use copyright things, but kind of create your own your own kind of style. Uh, and this could be some interesting kind of birthday card, um, Halloween card, and the list goes on and on and all can be created here with Dali. Now, I, I previously mentioned, right, what, if you kind of give it a question, it will give you an answer. Uh, so here I put what moves and has two wheels, and it actually gave me a bike. I think that was insane. Again, I'm not sure if Mid Journey would give me an answer if I gave it something like that. And the images here are pretty, pretty cool. Um, I tried to kind of get, again, more into the prompt engineer, and I do believe this is why maybe Dali is not meant for prompt engineering. I kind of say, I, I gave the previous prompt, but this time give me more 4K and realistic and it, it, it gave me some other stuff some random stuff so obviously some hit and miss here um i wanted to do more crossover darth vader as a toy story character uh, we can see this one I, I think this one is pretty insane we see him more as a lego piece here um, if we continue i also want to do more crossover as you can see i'm a huge star wars fan Darth Vader as a Dragon Ball C character. Nothing crazy here. I do believe Mid Journey in forms of crossover gives me better prompts, um, but it is interesting to see how how we're gonna kind of see the difference between um, between um, 
Mid Journey, and Dali later on. Uh, this one I actually enjoyed a lot. Dragon uh, Darth Vader as a DBC character in anime style. I mean, I think this one is pretty pretty cool. We see Goku here, um, go holding a lightsaber, and both kind of having that mean, uh, evil look. I'm not sure why Darth Vader has um, cards here. That one is interesting. Why um, Dali kind of interpret it that Darth Vader should be holding uh, four, four or five cards at the moment. Um, another interesting idea that I saw was kind of building schematics. So here we can see build the schematic of Darth Vader's suit. Uh, and I think this one is pretty, pretty insane as well. Um, it gives me kind of numbers to it. So if you are actually building a schematic, I never knew kind of Darth Vader had a, a blaster. Uh, but we can see it's interesting for his sword. Uh, they have a kind of a Darth Vader helmet. But it seems you can also swap it out with a Stormtrooper. So I really do like this a lot. Um, and we can see different different use cases here as well. Um, what else do I have here? I don't think I have mu too much that I've generated my own self, um, but we definitely see a lot of great images in, in Twitter and X. So let me kind of look out some of those examples right now. So we have this one from Pietro. Um, Super Mario sitting on a dingy couch. He is sad and there are empty beer bottles covering the floor. Next to the couch is a picture of the Princess Peach crossed out with a large red X. I mean, I think this is insane. It grabbed everything perfectly. Um, it... Here, this is what I got with Mid Journey. The prompt understanding of Dolly 3 seems impressive from what I've seen so far. So this one's pretty cool. We see Mario and we see the beer bottles, but I do believe exactly what the prompt does. This one gives us the best results. You have exactly what they win it, uh, wanted. A picture of the princess crossed out with the large red, um, beer bottles covering the floor, and Super Mario sitting on a dingy couch. Uh, so we can see Dolly definitely is able to understand a little bit better right now. Now this one is also pretty insane. Paul Vaughn uh, kind of mentioned, hey look, um, the prompt is a cartoon image of a bear wearing a hat resembling a moose antlers. I think this one's so cool. Um, and showing a sign saying, I am not a bear. So you can see I am not a bear right there. And then is standing next to a sign which says do not feed bears. Uh, so pretty artistic here. I really do enjoy it. This one is Dolly 3 is pretty good at creating schematics for fictional characters. Uh, again, I think this is insane. We can see the schematic of a Pokeball uh, right here, all different solutions. And in this thread, it does seem like we're also getting for other products here is a schematic of a lightsaber. Now, this is another kind of use case. Uh, the Thor brothers mentioned that Dolly just opened the door to a new age of AI lyrics video um, and here's the first test so they do have just kind of a music ha happening in the background uh, and they have kind of created these images with the lyrics so I do believe this is something that's going to show up on YouTube shorts on TikTok uh, a lot more now that we can see Dolly be better with text representation this person Tygon Plus just tried out Dolly 3 on Bing Image Creator um, prompt for creating an app logo and these are pretty pretty cool Cool. Again, I do believe Mid Journey is also able to generate some pretty cool icons. What I do believe with Dolly right now is the ability to understand what we want, and we don't have to become that prompt engineer. Here's Pokemon at, at, at Anatomy with Dolly 3. These are insane. So we can see Bulbasaur, we can see Squirtle here, and we can see Pikachu uh, showcasing a lot. Here, though, one thing that I, we are noticing is the text is not necessarily correct, but I wonder if it's because these are fictional characters. Characters, um, but I'm guessing the brain is still the brain. So pretty interesting that we didn't get actual text here, even though we know that Dolly 3 is good at creating text. Um, now, here's another one from a shot, Shoss said it, um, and it's pretty much a prompt. Let's take a closer look at the prompt. A Funko Pop of Walter White. And what it, they think is crazy here is they have everything correct. All the text is correct. But more importantly, the way the 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 brand of Breaking Bad is is insane. They even have the perfect number and the perfect pop. Uh, so I think it, it, it's crazy the power of Dolly 3. I do believe I have a few more examples. Like I mentioned, I do believe one of the big uh, use cases is going to be kind of comic style art. Uh, here it is insane, right? So who stole my ice cream cone? And then we can see uh, Joker, ha 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 come and get it fat man uh so this is insane and we can see the different types of alts that they do 
create a color comic book panel with a close-up of Batman's eyes, insert um, instant panel style, include a dramatic sound effect text, who stole my ice cream cone? Uh, so I'm going to definitely save this one for later because I do believe these alts are going to be helpful for when I want to create some form of comic book. Um, the last one that I have is someone, obviously, we're seeing a lot of the Man of Dolly 3. Uh, so there was this pretty funny comic, Got Any Spare H100s. For those that are not familiar, the H100s are the GPUs that are being used by all these kind of big tech players to kind of run a lot of these AI workloads. I'll code for GPUs. Uh, so pretty interesting. I am super excited with Dolly 3. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and all the examples that we saw. Let me know some of the use cases that you want to, that you're going to be using Dolly 3 for, and hopefully we start to see this in chat GPT um, plus member within the upcoming days. I know they mentioned it was support to start rolling out in October, um, but I, I don't believe it has rolled out yet. So right now, the only way we can use it is by using Bing's image creator. Oh, actually, before I go on any further, another cool piece here is if you do kind of create the image, you can edit the image via their customizable option, um, which is, uh, let's take a closer look. If you customize it, it's designer, Microsoft designer. And here you'll be able to play around with it. Uh, so right now it's loading my image uh, and then I'll be able to describe everything. Maybe I want to make it more uh, here. I, I think it's insane, right? You can kind of create a little bit more custom designs. You can even pick different sizes if you want more of a landscape feature. Uh, and they'll give me different types of designs that I can implement this image to. Uh, so overall, I do believe Microsoft is doing amazing with this AI race right now. Uh, so I'm super excited to see what you guys are creating. Let me know what are your use cases, and I hope you guys enjoy the video.